Female cops are entrusted with upholding professionalism, but what happens when their actions lead to irreversible consequences? Here are four times when female cops end their own careers. Knock it off or I'll do it in your nuts. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. I'm done. Yeah, I will tase you with the dust. This is Officer Andrea Mendoza from the Vancouver Police Department. On May 21st, 2023, around 10 p.m., Officer Mendoza and Officer Gabriel Patterson responded to a call from a Walmart in Vancouver, Washington, regarding two individuals allegedly trespassing, shoplifting, and leaving the store without paying for such items. Both the deputies meet the suspect where the woman is seen running while the other suspect, Elijah Guffey Prejean, is detained by Officer Patterson. Hey, go ahead and stop for me. Come on. Well, what are you grabbing me? Yep, I told you you're under arrest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, why are you... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You trust me the balls? Yeah, you think you got me, but I let you. Control point there, too. I got one running to the north. I'm gonna actually that's fine. Thank I'm gonna right there. This is for a stupid theft. Oh, theft of what? Well, we're gonna figure it out. You sure? Hey, Ready? You can roll to me. To you? Yep. Yeah. I got you. Roll I can roll myself. Nope. Thank you. You fing me right Despite the 19-year-old resisting arrest, Deputy Mendoza, instead of remaining lawful, also opted for the wrong path. Knock it off or I'll do it in your nuts! You I'm done! I will die. I'm done! I promise, I'm done! Yeah, I will f***ing tase you with the dust! I promise, I'm done! Knock it off! I will! I promise, I'm done! So when I yeah. say f Roll over! Roll the f over! I will. Now! Okay. Hands over him. I put my hands on my neck. No, hey, you do exactly what I say, what I say. I no, you're past that, man. I said I will. Yeah, your other hand, you're putting the small in your back. I can't breathe, my Your other hand, put it in the small of your back. Yes. I'll take Don't care of it. Put it in the small of your back and do it now. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are code four. It's a medical. Code three. This is no, we need a supervisor. Can you up that medical to code three? I've got uh, early 20s black male complaining of not being able to breathe. On your side, on your side. I just run my neck. Yep, I see that. I see that. We're on the west side of the Walmart. West side. Of Walmart. Will you please put my dick away? Right next to our. Yeah, I got you. With the breathing issue. I right appreciate now. it. Right next to. There you go. Yeah, my partner got Thank it. you. We have two cover cars rolling up. 97. Everyone else, slow down. Keep putting up his own face over. You guys made it. Chill the f out. We have a female. Other units coming in. Check for a female. Her description of the call. She took off running. Uh, northbound behind Walmart. Following a physical struggle, Officer Mendoza exposed Elijah Guffey Prejean's pubic region, threatening to deploy the taser there 
even after already tasing him in the back. Officer Patterson eventually arrested and handcuffed Guffy Prejohn. Let's now review Walmart's surveillance camera footage. This is for a stupid theft. Theft of what? Well, we're gonna f figure it out. I'm sorry. Hey, you can roll to me. To you? Yep. Yeah. I got you. I'll do myself. Thank you. Knock it off! I will. I promise I'm done. So when I yeah. say f you, roll over, roll the f over! I will. Now! Okay. Hands on him! I put my hands on my neck? No, hey, you do exactly what I say, what I say. I no, you're past that, man. I said I will. Yeah, your other hand, you're putting the small on your back. I can't breathe, my Your other hand, put it in the small of your back. Breathe. I'll take care of it. Down. Put it in the small of your back and do it now. I'm going to I'm gonna help you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Post arrest, Officer Mendoza was promptly placed on administrative leave. Subsequently, following internal investigations and procedures, on the 25th of July, she was charged with assault in the fourth degree, including intentional infliction of physical harm. If you think this was the only female cop who ended their careers, wait until you watch this next case. So, you know, for driving under the influence, you're, all you have to be is up, you're in the driver's seat, so you're in control of an operating motor vehicle. Yes, ma'am. So it's still illegal to be sitting in the driver's seat with you drinking. This is Officer Katie Proffer from the University of Central Florida Police Department. On February 12th, 2021, a 19-year-old student from the University of Central Florida, Sophia was sitting inside her car parked in a parking lot in Orlando, Florida. Officer Proffer approached Sophia after seeing her car. Watch how the encounter follows. Hello, I'm Officer Proffer. How are you guys? Great, how are you? Good. Alright. Alright, so what's going on tonight? Were you yeah. s fell asleep in here or what? Yeah, honestly, yeah. just fell asleep. Okay, have you been drinking? Honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Okay, where'd you come from? Um, just came from a house party and we figured it was safer to sit here. We were dropped off. And I didn't feel comfortable driving, so we were sitting in my car. Okay. And I didn't want to drive. Okay, do you you guys both also, live here? Or? Uh, I don't live here. Your, your, okay, your so house. how'd you get here? I'm sorry, what'd you say? So how'd you get here? Um, we were dropped off by an Uber. Okay, and you just got in your car? Yes, ma'am. So your car was sitting here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, have you guys been oh, smoking okay. weed at all too? No, ma'am, okay. don't do drugs. All right, so. you, Do you have weapons or anything in here? No, Knives or anything? Okay. Is this White Claw? Huh? It's White Claw? Is there an open container? No, I don't have one to open a container. We just have two energy drinks open here. There are two energy drinks? This is a White Claw? That is a monster. A monster, I'm so sorry. Okay. And then this is White... Alright. I see that's White Claw. I saw you put something underneath that. Do me a favor, lift the cool up for me and put it on the... Ma'am, that's not the quilt. The quilt right there? Put it on the seat. Yes, 
Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Check it out. Be careful, it's a little sandy. We don't have any open containers in the car. Okay. We just have a Celsius and a Monster. They're just yeah, energy drinks. Yeah, I had that earlier. I we don't have anything open in the car. No. I just didn't want to drive intoxicated, so we're just sitting in the car. Okay, you're, so you're both students. Okay. Did you get? Did he get your IDs and stuff already? Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Hang on one second for me. Okay. What is your name again? My name is Sophia. Sophia. Okay. I'm gonna have you, if you don't mind, to step out of the vehicle and talk to me behind the car for a bit. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drive. We could just stand right there. That's fine. You're okay. Um, so, you know, for driving under the influence, you're d all you have to be is up, you're in the driver's seat, so you're in control of an operating motor vehicle. Yes, ma'am. So it's still illegal to be sitting in the driver's seat with you drinking. Okay. Officer Proffer tells her that it's illegal to drink while sitting inside her vehicle, and she can be arrested for DUI. However, according to the law, the driver must be driving or controlling the car while it's moving. Since the car here is stationary, this arrest can be deemed unlawful. Watch what Officer Proffer is about to do next. So, are you willing to participate in some standard field sobriety exercises for us? Do I have to? I mean, it's up to you, it's your choice. But then if you don't, then we have to make a decision based on our evidence right now. Um, how old are you? I'm 19. 19, okay. So, yes, I mean, you can either participate in the standard field sobriety exercises or, like I said, we just make our determination now upon, you know, speaking to you and our evidence, what we smell, what we see, right. and we can go from there, determine if we have enough to make an arrest or not. So, I mean, I'm willing to try. Okay. You're willing to participate in the standard field sobriety exercises? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to read you some instructions real quick, okay? Alright, go ahead and stand with your hands down at your side. Alright, I'm going to check your eyes, okay? So yeah. I'm going to get out a pen. And this is going to be the stimulus, okay? Okay. Alright, do you wear glasses or contacts or anything? Okay. Uh, that's negative, sir. Right. Do you have any medical conditions that could mimic impairment, diabetes, low blood sugar, anything like that? Okay. Uh, when's the last time you ate or drank today? I want to say like 3 or 4 o'clock. I had a burger. Okay. And then, so, where were you guys at before here? We were at a house party. Okay. Was that here on campus? No, ma'am. Okay. So, and then you had Uber take you here, and you just had your car keys on you, so you got in the car. Turned on the car for warmth. And then sat in here. Yes, okay. ma'am. And then you guys both live here, or just her? She just lives here. Okay. Is she going to get in trouble? Um, I'm not sure yet. I don't think so, because she's not... How, how old is she? She's 19. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Y'all have to... No, I was just sitting in a parking lot. It's not her fault. All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm no, you're good. So I'm going to check your eyes so you don't have any glasses, contacts. No, ma'am. Okay. Keep your head still and you're going to follow this with your eyes only. Okay. Do not move your head. Do you understand these instructions? Yes, ma'am. Follow the pen. Yes. Yep. Sorry, it's really cold. Okay. No, no, keep your head still. Okay. Look straight. Come over here. University. Keep your head still. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. It's so only. cold. University back to Charlie's money. We did contact uh, Embrado. He apparently is out with cold on a traffic stop with four, and he's conducting a signal one there. No problem. 245 hours.
Turn around and face me. Keep your arms down at your side. We have one more exercise to do. Okay, I'm going to read you some instructions I got, okay? You're going to stand with your heels together, arms down at your side, just like you've been doing. Yep, mm -hmm. keep your arms there. Okay, do not begin until I tell you to, until I tell you to do so. Keep your arms down at your side. It's so cold. I know. We're almost done. Um, yep. Do you understand these instructions so far? Yeah. Okay. When I tell you to, I want you to raise one leg, either leg, approximately six inches off the ground. It's going to be about the height of a soda can. Your foot's going to be pointed out. Your eyes are going to be looking on it. And keep both legs straight and keep your eyes on your elevated foot. Okay. While holding that position, count out loud. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003, and so forth until I tell you to stop, okay? Do you mind me asking how far I have to count? Until I tell you to stop. Okay. Do you know how long that'll be? So it's gonna look like this, okay? You're gonna have okay. your arms down at your side, okay? And it's gonna be 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so forth until I tell you to stop, okay? If for some reason you put your foot down, simply pick it back up and begin where you left off, okay? Okay. Do you understand these instructions so far? Can I get an estimate? Like, is it going to be a minute? Until I tell you to stop, okay? Fine. Alright, give me one second. Okay, keep your arms down at your side, feet together. Alright, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Alright, you may begin. 1001. 1002, 1003, 1004, 1022. Okay, you can stop. 1023. Right. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You're going to be aggressive to be Why? Why? Because you are operating a motor vehicle under the influence. Officer Proffer runs Sophia through a field sobriety test. She failed the sobriety tests and consequently placed Miss Sophia under arrest for allegedly DUI. The officer informs Miss Sophia that he is going to search the vehicle after her arrest. Watch how the encounter ends. He said she lives on campus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be able to get her at home. All right, we're gonna go back to the back of my car. you have anything sharp on you? Any knives, weapons? No needles, nothing like that. Alright. you have anything in your pockets at all? Phone, wallet, keys? Cards. Um, this, we're at? My front pocket over here. Okay. I have my ID and then my friend's ID. Alright. I'm just gonna pat you down and make sure you don't have anything on you. Okay. Spread your feet. My key, my car key. Yeah. 
and then my wallet is connected to it. Okay. Is this where you have the no man this oh, this one. in my front corner? It's my ID and then my friend's ID, not the friend in the car. Is this a pocket? It's it's inside. Oh, it's pants. like inside the pants. Okay. So cold. Alright, I'm gonna take it out. No, you're okay. Is it this one? Yes, ma'am. Inside and yeah, to the middle. Like turn. Is it a in. pocket or is it just laying there? <laughs> it's a pocket. There's a pocket inside. Inside these? Yeah. It's in between like the middle and the front. I don't know how to explain it. Like right there. Pocket. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. There's some cash. My See, card. It's not your pocket, though. I don't have my personal ID, but then my friend's ID, she's not the one in the car. Okay. This right here is the pocket? Yes, ma'am. You sure there's an ID in there? Yeah, because I don't Cause feel anything. Either. Maybe I took it out when I yeah, took out my... I don't feel anything then in I'm, there. Then I'm good. <laughs> this is the only pocket in here? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there's, there's not that nothing. many pockets in the leggings. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing in there. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just the wallet itself. It's black. It says Kate Spade on it. Has a car key attached to it, okay. and then also like a key to get into my establishment. Okay. All right. You can have a seat back here. Thank you. Sure. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and buckle you up. Have you ever been arrested? No, ma'am. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the DUI center okay. where um, we'll request a breath test from you. Yes, ma'am. And then from there, you'll be going to the Orange County Jail cool. for DUI. But they can only hold you for, I think it's 12 hours from like the time now. So you should be able to get out. I'll find out for sure. I think it's either 8 hours or 12 hours. Yes, ma'am. All right, hang tight, okay? So we're going to secure this car. Go ahead and take out anything that you need out of the vehicle, ma'am. Where do you live on campus? I live right here. This okay. is my house. Okay. Thank you so much. Excellent. Um, thank you. All right. Have a good night. You too. All right, cool. So we're good to leave her car here then. Miss Sophia was taken to the police station where she took a breathalyzer test. She blew 0.099 and 0.088, both of which were over the legal limit. Ms. Sophia committed to a DUI diversion contract, which includes 50 hours of community service, attending DUI school, participating in a victim impact class, MADD, a 10-day vehicle impoundment, making a $1.500 donation to a non-profit organization, paying a fee to the department, and installing a DUI interlock device for one year. Officer Proffer had arrested her on the wrong charge, however, she was found guilty of the crime because she was below the age of 21. If you think this was the height of idiocy by a female officer, wait until you watch this next case. A head, our tail. Okay. <laughs> this is tail, right? Yeah. So really, 23. This is Officer Courtney Brown from the Roswell Police Department. On April 7th, 2018, Officer Brown pulled over a lady, Sarah Webb, for allegedly overspeeding. She argued that she was late for work and did not notice her speed. Initially, this looks like a normal traffic stop ending with speeding tickets, but things take a dark turn all of a sudden. Stay in the car. Sorry, my window doesn't hold. Off the Brown Roswell Police Department. You know how fast you were just going, ma'am? I'm so sorry, I'm late for work. So you could go over 80 miles per hour on 92? No, ma'am. You have your driver's license and your insurance card? Yeah, my insurance. Turn off the car and pass me the keys, please. The ground's wet, it's been raining. You're going over 80 miles an I'm hour so sorry. on this type of a road. That's reckless driving, ma'am. Um, this is Lexus Nexus. I'm trying to look it up. I don't have it printed off. Give me one second. I'll be right with you. Go for it. Okay. 
Officer Brown, accompanied by Officer Christy Wilson, returns to her police cruiser with Webb's ID. During their conversation, Officer Brown admits to not noting Webb's speed. They jointly opt for a coin toss to determine Webb's fate, with heads signifying arrest and tails indicating release. The coin toss, conducted digitally through an app on the phone, results in tails. Despite the outcome, Officer Brown remains determined to complicate matters for Webb. What do you think? We're just tickets. Atlanta answer or Roswell answer? Hold on. Are you, are you, okay. Thank you. Yeah, sorry she did it. Unavailable. My cat's not working. Mm. Who's that? A head, our tail. Okay. <laughs> this is tail, right? Yeah, so really. 23. Michael Jordan? <laughs> Hi. So I got too too fast for. Let me write this down. Too fast for conditions. Reck, is it reckless? reckless? For, yeah, you can do reckless, um, and then speeding. And you're just gonna have to mark the pace one instead of the. I mean, either the, way, the speed limit here is what 45. Yeah. 45. She was going way. Yeah. I mean. Cause I haven't done one like speeding like that, yeah. so that's so why I'm, I'm a little bit unsure. The... Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's not okay. Alright, you got one. Yeah. Alright, you got one. Hi, ma'am. Do me a favor and step out of the vehicle for me. Put the phone down. Why am I doing that? Step out of the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Because, ma'am. You're driving entirely too fast for conditions. You put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy, okay? Double locking these, so they don't tighten on you. Do me a favor and step in front of my vehicle, ma'am. Step in front of my patrol vehicle. Do you have anything? Do you have anything? Do you have anything in your pockets of? Do you have anything on you to poke, stick, or stab me? Any drugs, paraphernalia, anything like that? Okay. You have a Ron. Return to the side for me. Here, move on, Burkett. I'm just gonna shake this out, okay? Alright. Do me a favor, step over here. To my patrol vehicle. <laughs> have a seat for me. We're gonna buckle you in, okay? After arresting Webb for reckless driving and overspeeding, she decided to conduct a search on her vehicle. However, this search might have been controversial since the authority for such searches is primarily based on the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which protects individuals from unreasonable searches and seizures. Shoot off the 189. Sunglasses. Times two. Let's change. Makeup. Makeup key. Deputy Brown is later observed completing the arrest warrants for Sarah Webb. Both Officer Brown and Officer Wilson were placed on administrative leave, leading to the commencement of an internal investigation. Charges against Webb were dropped. She expressed her terror 
revealing that she was unaware that her fate had been determined by a coin toss. Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car. Get in the car. Oh my god, I can't! I'm too big! Sucks to be you! Stop. Get in the car! I didn't Get do in. anything! You're a woman! You're gonna treat me like this? This is Officer Anna Simmons from the East Ridge Police Department. On December 3rd, 2021, Officer Candace Miller, Officer Teddy Dyer, and Sergeant David Mirick responded to a call for a well child check at a residence belonging to Haley Sherrod. Upon arrival at the East Ridge, Tennessee residence, the officers found Haley Sherrod's mother, Angel Sherrod, and her son sitting inside a car. Watch what happens when Officer Dyer inquires about Miss Sherrod's mother. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, do you live here? Um, my daughter's living here. Is she? In, the, in this, is that 893? Yeah, it is. 893, okay. All right, hang on one second for me, okay? Something wrong? Well, we got called to check on a child. What well, child? I don't know. They didn't tell us. They just said to do a welfare check. From when? Like, what did they say? I don't know. We'll go up and knock. Is that your daughter coming now? Yeah. What's her name? Hey, going up to the door. Well, how old is the child? Two years old? Is there a two year old that lives here? Yeah. Okay. 51 Tennessee 28. I bet it was, uh. Four Mike three, seven golf four. Why are you running my tag? Because I smell marijuana. You smell marijuana? Yes. Because you smell marijuana that gives you the right to run my tag? Not only that, I'm going to search your car. You're not going to search anything. Yes, ma'am. No, you're not. I promise you. You are not going to break my only, rights right now. You're about to get your rights up in the back of my car. Well, if that's what you want to do because you, you're going to get in six, real seven, six when you do. Because I haven't done anything. I haven't violated any four, rule seven, nine. or anything. You just sit there and talk to me and, and to that tell I, me you're going to search I, my car. I am going to search your car. And you're running my tag. I am going to search your car. I'm not doing anything to sitting out here waiting for I my daughter care. to come back I don't out. care. Your car is going to be searched. And if you interfere with my search, I will put you in the car okay, and I will take you to jail. Okay, if you go ahead and you violate my rights then. Okay, put Let's your hands on that. the car. You violate my rights. Put your hands on the car. What are you, you're going to put... You're, you're I said put me? your hands on the car. You're arresting me for Put what? your hand back up. Hey, don't you put your... Hey, no, I'm not doing this. Record Get in the car. Listen. Get in the car. Get in the car. I'm getting in the car. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Shut the f up before I take your to jail too. Get back. You know you didn't know how to handle it. Hey, Rose. She just got run out of the baby. You do not go away. Rest her. Girl, do not push me. What is wrong? You know who did it? Who did what? Who tased my mom? She didn't get tased. Then why was her taser going off over there? Checking the fire, I guess. Make that make sense. It does. She didn't get tased. So then why was there a taser? How about you worry about you? That's we'll worry about, about your about mama. mama. As Miss Angel Sherrod was taken to the cop cruiser, Officer Ann Simmons showed up on the scene. Officer Simmons drive stunned Miss Angel Sherrod when she was unable to get in the cop cruiser. Drive stun is when a taser is put close to a body to cause pain rather than stun. Watch how the encounter ends. I don't really give a shit. I don't sound like it. Sounds like you want to join your mama. Okay. Y'all are so, violating our rights right now. What, which one? I Please want tell me my which mom. right you're getting I violated. I want my mom right tell now. Tell me which right. I want my so mom. So shut up. I you don't, don't know what you're Sorry, you guys. You sound like you're about seven. You want to act like a big girl? You're going to get treated like a big girl. Um, so I drive stunned her mom to get her in the car. Uh, other than that, she's perfectly fine. Okay. Did I spin or she was a home case, right? No. Just drive spin? I'm just making sure. Yeah, no, she just drive spin. But I did it twice. No, I did it in her back and then like right here on her side. We're trying, we're talking about, we know the woman's going. I'm emotionally invested. Can I take her? Yes. Well, we're, 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 we were thinking. No. I love it when you do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's fine. She come down. She was an asshole, but she come down as poor children, respectful. I don't really. Uh, I don't really want to take the other one. Well, 
I had to tackle her. That's correct. So. There's somebody else wants to take her. I'm taking one I'm emotionally invested in. She wants Which one are you invested in? The one in your car. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll take you. Okay, that, I mean, by all means. All right, but as long as you take the big one, you gotta take the second one too. Mom for disorderly no. conduct, resistance, stop, halt, frisk. They are now separated. Um, Unknown if it's physical or verbal. If she ain't got insurance, I'm towing the car. You know, yeah. we'll see. They're good. Yeah. But Who's it, but it could just, the car can just stay here. I mean, I'm we'll her see. daughter. I, and I please see. Don't, like, it's already like, please don't, because like, I let's want to out of jail and I just did a baby. Uh, and I'm and I feel for you, and I'm not trying to cause you no headache. I want you to understand. She, right. Yes. I understand it's your mother. You just got to understand we have a job to do also. So we're not trying to jam you up or your mother or your mother out. Okay. Step out. Let's talk. How old are you, man? I'm 18, sir. 18. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man. I'm like you, why you gotta hit my mama like that, bro? You gonna keep the all right? I tried. I tried. You see, I tried to I'm talk to you like a man. I tried to talk. Why you have to do her like that, bro? Get in the car. Like, I tried. I tried to talk to you. I tried. I tried. I'm not your brother. You see, I tried. You see, I tried to talk to him. How old is he? 18. He's old enough to take a ride. He goes to the big boy jail. He's going. That needs to go. Cause he, he, yeah, he gotta go. You tried to talk to him, he didn't want to talk to you? Yep. Hey bro, why you want to hit my mom? I'm a man. I'm a man. Why you hit my mom? Miss Angel Sherrod was arrested for disorderly conduct and resisting. Her vehicle was later searched, and the cops were unable to find any traces of marijuana. The cops verified the situation of the child, who was happy and healthy. Devin, her son, was also charged with disorderly conduct. Later, all of these charges were dropped. Miss Angel Sherrod later filed a federal lawsuit against the officers involved. On December 22, 2021, Officer Simmons was fired by the East Ridge Police Department. If you think this was the maximum a female cop can try to ruin her career, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. Hey, I'm going to tell you one more time. Are you going to leave or you not? You can either leave right now with your kids in your vehicle. Okay, so you're threatening my family with force right then, now. is that what it is? We're no. asking you to leave. And you're going to use force against me no, if I don't I'm leave. They are going to be arrested if y'all don't leave our truck. So you're going to, at the point of a gun, you're going to threaten harm to my family. Is that correct? This is Officer Amy Cantrell of the Clute Police Department. On January 21st, 2017, an individual named Gavin Seam was traveling somewhere in Clute, Texas, with his family when he observed a traffic stop taking place. He decided to stop and film the interaction. The cops observed him filming and decided to confront him. Watch how the confrontation unfolds. Can we help you? Well, we're just observing. Huh? We're just observing. Oh, okay. What's going on here? All right, that was just a yeah, traffic right. stop. Why do you have somebody in handcuffs for a traffic stop? Well, it's not, it's not your concern, okay? Well, it's very much my concern. You work for the people, and I'm just observing to try and make sure no, that nothing untoward's going on. But I'm just, it's just a, I think it's a reasonably curious question. Is it normal to put somebody in, in handcuffs for a traffic well, that's stop? Her, that's her business, okay? So oh, hi, ma'am. How you doing? No, I'm it's not. You do need to get off my traffic stop. No, I don't. I'm just observing. Okay, but, I'm, but, but I'm, what, I'm, what I'm telling you is uh -huh. the person that was arrested, it's not any of your business because that's her personal business, what she got arrested for. So it's none of your concern. No, actually, that's a matter of public record, sir. Okay. Okay, well, you look it up in public record. Yeah. Oh, sure. I, and I can't force you to tell me. I mean, it would be it would be cordial of you to do so. Um, but uh, I'm just observing. I'm not here to interfere. And uh, you guys shouldn't be uncomfortable with being filmed. I mean, it looks like you have body cams yourself. So it's not like you should be right. uncomfortable. Well, Can I ask how old you are? Can I ask how old you are? Yeah. Can we ask you a question? Okay. You can ask, yeah. The reason why we're here right now talking to you is because we're on a traffic stop and you pull behind us, okay? Right. And we don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm well behind you. Okay. So actually, what's weird to me is that you're on a traffic stop and you're over here talking to me instead of dealing with your traffic stop. Okay. Well, she's already detained, okay? What's your, what's your name, sir? I'm Officer Garcia. Garcia, I'm Gavin. What's okay. your name, ma'am? Cantrell. Cantrell. All right. You're, you're pretty young. Are you new? All right. You have a good night. Officer Cantrell and Officer Kyle Garcia ordered Mr. Same to leave the scene and stop filming. Mr. Same was well within his rights to be there and record the interaction since the First Amendment protects the right to freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Watch what happens next. Can y'all go ahead and leave the scene? Um, am I am I causing you some concerns? Yes, yes you are, because you're behind our traffic stop. And you're in Would it make you more comfortable if I pulled no, up on the side that's here? That's even closer to us. You have two okay. choices. Either you can leave my scene or both y'all are going to be arrested. For what? For interfering. How am I interfering? 
You're interfering with my traffic stop. I don't like you sitting right here behind. You don't get okay. to dictate that, but right. can you call a supervisor out and I can talk to him? We've already, already talked to him, okay? C can you tell me what law I'm breaking? You're interfering with our traffic stop, okay? In what way am I doing that? You're interfering, because we're over here speaking with you, okay? Isn't it, uh, the Supreme Court has upheld our right just All to right, film police officers. I'm going to tell you one more time. Are you going to leave or not? You can either leave right now with your kids in your vehicle. Okay, so you're threatening you're my family with force then, is that what it is? No. We're asking you to leave. And you're going to use force against me no, if I don't I'm leave. You're going to be arrested if y'all don't leave our traffic. So you're going to, at the point of a gun, you're going to threaten harm to my family. Is that correct? I never said that. That's what you're saying. Okay. One, 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 one more chance. Either leave the scene or step out of the vehicle and you're going to be arrested. Okay. Well, since you're threatening my life, I'm going to move away from the scene because you guys are threatening the, my life and the life of my, my four kids in here. Um, you are well outside the law. And normally if I was by myself, I would probably refuse, but I got my family in the car. You are breaking the law right now. You're violating your oath. You're acting as criminals. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move somewhere else and film you to make sure that you're not untoward to this. I want your, what's your badge number, ma'am? It's 208. Okay. I, I, you, I intend to have you held accountable for this. All what's right. your rank? Leave, please. I will, I will move is what okay. I will do. I'm not going to leave. Well away I'm going to move where I want to, ma'am. Okay. Goodbye. Sergeant Park came forward after Officer Cantrell and Officer Garcia continued with the stop. Watch how the interaction ends. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling very threatened by the behavior of your officers here. Okay. Because I'm exercising my First Amendment right. Sure. And you guys are acting like bullies, or they are rather. I don't want to speak for you. I don't know you. I'll go ahead and identify, identify myself. I'm Sergeant Park. I'm in the police department. Are you a supervisor of these guys? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you're here because um, they just they threatened my family's life just now. How so? Because they said that we were both going to be arrested. I got four kids in the car. Mm -hmm. If we were both arrested, mm -hmm. not only that, my wife has no control over me driving my vehicle. Right. I'm 30 feet back from them. We as the civilian, sir, yes. we have to look over our shoulders all the time mm -hmm. to see if we're being followed or if we're going to be harassed and collected by a police officer in today's You're not America. Doing anything wrong, you don't have to worry about us. That's nonsense because I wasn't doing anything wrong and they just threatened to arrest me and my wife, which would result in my kids being taken by Child Protective, protective Services thousands of miles from my home. Would you consider that a threat if you were out and about? You're good. Go back. You're good. I don't understand. You seem like a reasonable, calm person. Absolutely. I don't understand how you cannot understand the situations we face. You, as the officers, are supposed to be out here keeping the peace and de-escalating situations. Exactly. They, and, they're under arrest because they have warrants for their arrest. That's not our fault. They didn't pay their tickets. So what kind of tickets are they? I'm not allowed to tell you that because... You are allowed. It's public no, record. It's Okay, well, if it's public record, you can go research it, but I'm not going to disclose... You have no relation to the person being arrested, so I don't, I don't know. Feel, They're humans. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> releasing their information. Okay, to fair you. enough. Okay. Okay. You've got somebody that's got, let's say, three or four traffic tickets, whatever it might be on their record. Maybe it's a burnout taillight. And you think it's law to go out and take people's cars to impound, lock them away in jails with no victim because their taillight was burned out? Does that seem okay to you? The only Is thing that America? That we do, whenever we see a traffic offense, we just issue the citation. We don't do any judgment. That's for the judge to do. No, it's not. It You're is. all accountable. Is. That is the procedure. We Haven't just you? issue the ticket and then they get a court date or whatever. The judge sets the fine. Now, if they don't take care of their fine or whatever, the municipality is the one that issues the warrant. Isn't there right and wrong? Aren't you accountable? Just like the people in the Nuremberg trials. If you I don't know how that the difference in right and wrong plays into what we're talking about though. All we know is it comes back that they have an active warrant and then we have to take them in to jail. That's our job. We have no, no choice. There's no that's nonsense. It's there's not no your choice. Your job is this right here, sir. Do you have a copy of this right here? I don't carry it around with me. Well you should. You don't do you don't carry the Constitution? Do you know what the Sixth Amendment is? The Fourth Amendment? You don't you don't carry a copy of the Constitution? We don't carry a copy of the Constitution with us, sir. Why? We I want you to keep that. You, you need one. No, That's I'm the best. I'm not gonna take your property. That is your law book. I have plenty of those. I'm gonna leave it right here because I'm not gonna take your property, okay? Two or three, what was the location of that call I was in route to? Area of Fourth Street and Wiley. First caller was from eleven fifty, fourth street, second caller was from five sixteen Wiley. What was the nature of the call? Hearing of gunshots in the area. That is why I have to leave. Do you understand? Well, okay, okay so but if, you if came you, out please, here. It wasn't too urgent, you, or you wouldn't have come out here. Well, I was concerned for the safety of my <laughs> I was concerned for the safety of my family, and okay. your officers threatened them, I'm and I want some you. disciplinary action taken on that front. Everything is going good. If you would please just maintain your distance where you're at right now, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and go. Okay? What I want you to think about tonight, I know that you have this idea that you do your job, but just remember, there's no just doing your job. There's right or wrong. You took an oath to this Constitution, whether you carry a copy or not. 
Okay, well, and this constitution right and wrong is the law. Is an opinion, okay? So no, it's harassing the law. police officers is probably considered wrong to most people. We're just trying to do our I'm job. I'm not harassing anyone. You're, I'm, we're I'm trying observing to do our you. job. You're trying to make our job harder, okay? That's Actually, all you're I doing. made no contact. Okay. You realize that your officers contacted me. I on didn't endanger orders. them. I on did not orders. endanger them. But they I didn't was come well and out of distance. You. They didn't do anything like that. All I, I wasn't giving them do, that option. All I wanted you to do is just keep your distance to where you're at. My right distance now. was kept. I was 10 feet away, sir. The difference between where I am now and there was nonsensical. Okay. You just wanted to exert okay, your look, authority. I just want you to see, stay about this distance. I'm away. not. Okay. The only reason I moved is because you guys threatened my family with violence. Okay, we didn't threaten anything. Yes, you did. You That's what an arrest is. You were threatened that you'd be placed under arrest for interfering with a police investigation. And if I had attempted to defend myself, I wasn't interfering with nothing. You guys were leaving okay. your police investigation. I'm trying to make sure that no interference happens. I'm trying. The to only make one that's sure that interfered here, escalates. sir, is you. The only one that's violated their oath is your officers, and that's what you need to think about. If you got a call, I don't want to keep you from it. You better get going. I am. You have a nice night. You too. Sergeant Park left the scene and continued with the stop after a heavy verbal skirmish. Mr. Syme drove away after this interaction. If you think this was the only idiot female cop who got caught, then probably you haven't heard of this next case. Hey, we're trying to, you want to get out of here fast, right? So if we have more people, y'all been trying to something. Do you want to get out of here faster? We have more of our friends to help you get out faster. This is a female officer from the Montgomery County Police Department. On May 9th, 2019, several officers from Montgomery Police allegedly had asked some African-American men to move away from McDonald's in White Oak, where they were seen loitering outside its premises. Such practice by cops is also usually encouraged by McDonald's management. However, the situation began to escalate when the officers suspected that the individuals might be under the influence of marijuana. Does it hurt you? Are you hurt? I'm not hurt. I'm well, then stop crying. You, you act like a little girl. Are you acting like a little girl? Act like a little girl. That's not nice. I'm not going nothing. So, like, you don't matter. And I'm waiting to go to work, and y'all here doing the moves for what? Hey, 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 I seen him in the back. If I were back, I'm gonna check. Has it been checked yet? Call y'all. It don't matter. If I didn't want to see him, if I was going somewhere, I would have ran from y'all. Like, come on now. I would have caught you. Y'all is not slick. We need to race. You and I are gonna race. How am I trespassing? Little one of us. Well, that's what's happening. Is that right? That's cool. Wait, 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 you're right. one angry right. individual. Because I'm an angry individual. That's what the yeah. I am. Why? Yeah. Why? Why are you so mad? Wait, wait. For you, okay? Do what you gotta do. Pass it off for me. What you doing with these bad ass, boys? Man. I work for a moving company. That's why you got that strap in there. Oh, uh -huh. What does it do? What does it do? She might I have like about traps. four boxes. I'm tired of that. So you call them hey, all hey, together? I think she likes traps. Yo, I'm big into straps. Strap on, strap off. Lots of different straps. That's why I am very well uh, versed in what straps do. Uh, someday when you grow up, maybe you'll be less angry. Yeah, I'm a eater now. It's good to be something. I understand. Do I get paid to be a eater at least? You tell me. Doing better than you, it looks like. I'll get paid to. Alright, Corey, can you stand up for me and turn around and put your hands behind your back? Oh, Corey. That's two out of four. No, we're just going to sit here and keep that here. Did you get my big face? I got issues with the Did you give it to all? Sarge, this is uh, your friend right yep, there. Gotcha. Okay, cool. This is his. Who's your uh, backpack set? This is this gentleman. Hey! Make sure you get my good side. Not that there is one, but make sure you get it. <laughs> I'm a what? Link? What's a link? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. What's a link? <laughs> Oh, well then it makes two of us. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. What you got here? I've just been diagnosed with uh, lip noids. Okay. okay. So also antibiotic for the baby. Yeah, oh man, you got horse pills. Yeah. Cancer or? No, it's no. I don't I'm think it's it on that level yet, but it Yeah. The police had allegedly recovered some marijuana from them. The individuals admit that they did go in for breakfast inside and were waiting to catch a ride to reach for their landscaping job. A police spokesman reported that all four men were issued trespassing notices, and two of them also received civil citations for possessing a small amount of marijuana. They had also lost their jobs after this encounter with the police. What's this? Can you stand up for me real quick? Take your hat off. Dave, why do I take my hat off? Because he asked you to. I'll have to take my hat off. Okay. All right, good. Take your hat off. All right? Let it get, stand up there. You're not going to win the battle. You're not going to win this, so stand up. Give me a picture of the fool. Because we take pictures of everybody. Hey, what do I do? We need to take a picture of you. Trespassing. Two out of four. Trespassing? Trespassing. We'll get three out of four. Yeah. four. See how smart you are just sitting there, not talking? Back? Yeah, 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 his actual charges. I don't trust, I bust that out of here, early. Are these uh, actual AirPods or nah, just knockoff? Like okay. Like Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Because like I don't see any. Or like that. Yeah. Okay. You have like five years ago. I'm not done talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, are these district court papers? Come back within a year. You know. That's rare. Oh, that's rare. Okay, good. Okay. How that works. You're also a lawyer. That's against law also. Okay? And they consistently are complaining about you guys loitering out here. Okay? Alright, so how that works. Okay? You're the winner so far. You live on McCall Street? Is it a good address for you? Stand up for me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Did you learn anything today? Yeah, tell my boss that we gotta wake someone else for Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's the good thing. Second, uh, second thing. 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 This is in reference to a trespassing at a home. You got one walking through, just so you know. No record. In DC for ID? For who, me? That's impossible because I got an active court there. 620. I just came from I got this dealt with court. So there, there definitely should be record. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. He's saying a record as far as like they can't find any active. Um, also, with, you know, with your two last names. Hi. Um, it could be like you use lemon and not gray, or gray and not lemon, or lemon gray. He didn't run it that way. So it's not that you don't have a record like court date. It means you don't, they can't find anything with whatever he rang by. That's what it means. What were you in court for? Uh, the last one is the last one. How many you got? I had an upcoming acting on June 20th for uh, disorderly conduct. Where? Out of? Uh, hey, we're trying to, you want to get out of here fast, right? So if we have more people, y'all been trying to something. Do you want to get out of here faster? We have more of our friends to help you get out faster. Uh, nope, that's a quote. Those were your words. I would still say it because what I'm doing is repeating your words. The names and details of the officers involved remain unknown as they have not been made public by Montgomery Police. Acting Chief Marcos Jones of the Montgomery Police Department stated that the officer who used the inappropriate word is currently on desk duty, while eight other officers are still under investigation. The remaining eight officers continue their regular patrol duty. If you think this is the only female cop caught due to her evil actions, wait until you watch this next case. Don't grab him, let her go. Do not kick me. If you kick me again, I swear to God, I'll break your arm. Yes, she horse kicked me and she wasn't following me by instruction. 
This is Officer Elizabeth J. Montayo from the San Antonio Police Department. On July 5, 2018, at approximately 4.16 a.m., Officer Montayo responded to a minor disturbance near San Luis Street. Upon reaching the scene, she discovered Kimberly Ann Esparza, the suspect already handcuffed and detained by the police. Esparza, a six-month pregnant woman, became the focus of Officer Montayo's attention for a search. However, the ensuing moments led to an escalation of the situation. You feel it when there's something there? Spread your legs. Spread your legs. They are open. I heard I was running from these f***ing people, dude. Spread your legs. I'm not going to ask you again. I Watch out, man. Don't do dude, it. You're my Don't be grabbing on my stuff either. And then grab it on you, dude. Let me the f*** go, man. All you have to do is cooperate. You're hurting me. Hey, she just if you were worried you. about you wouldn't be out stealing. You. You don't know or what taking food. Xanax hey, either. Just oh, my my Good. Are you going to stop? No. F*** you, b Are you going to ah. stop? Oh, fuck. Are you gonna stop? Ah, no, no. Then relax and do what I tell you to do. Dude, what the fuck are you doing this for? My arms are hurting, dude. Well, then stand up and spread no, your legs. No, I did spread them, No, dude, you didn't. Spread that your legs. Hurts, dude. Why do you have okay, just put your foot right here you and I won't do it. Oh, that hurts. Esparza kicked Officer Monteo with her bare foot when instructed to spread her legs for a search. In response, Officer Monteo escalated the conflict, striking Esparza once on the right breast and seven times on the head. Subsequently, she pulled Esparza by her hair to remove her from the patrol vehicle. Officer Monteo justified her actions by explaining that she took these measures as Esparza continued to kick her while moving toward the back of the patrol car. They hit me like that on my head. I, I got away from you, right? Dude, what the? <laughs> Officer Monteo kept her inhumane treatment going while she kept the suspect detained on the road for almost 26 minutes while it rained. Where's Sergeant? She's f***ing fine. She, as a matter of fact, right before I uh, found the drugs on her, she was asking if she could smoke a cigarette. Sorry, I'm not buying that crap. Mm -hmm. Look. No, it's, it's 
car kicking. She did it twice when I was putting her in. I was like, get in the car, get in the car. She freaking went like that and kicked me again. I'm like, that's it. I was going to punch her in her side because they say don't hit him in the face. I freaking hit her in the face. I let the first one go, but not the second one. She's fine. You can call somebody else out to check her, but all we did was lay her on the ground. We didn't slam her. Can. Start fire. Start fire, please. She's fine. She's faking it. Look, her eyes are open. As soon as I said that, she opened her eyes. Officer Elizabeth Montoya was fired by the San Antonio Police Department and received her indefinite suspension notice for inappropriate treatment of a suspect on January 17th. Montoya was also cited for muting her body camera when she should not have. Esparza was charged with assaulting a public servant and resisting arrest, but the charges were later dismissed. According to court records, Montoya is appealing the rulings. After her termination from San Antonio Police, she was later picked up by the Leon Valley Police Department. If you think this was the last female cop who tried to end their careers, then probably you aren't aware of this next scene. I don't want to give you a hard time or anything, but I'm sorry, the First Amendment protects my free political speech. You're, you're right. live on YouTube, video and audio recorded. That's fine, sir. Just, your sign's a little vulgar and it's upsetting people. It doesn't matter. You're not the free speech police. This is Officer McKenzie from the Bowie Police Department. In August 2020, a 41-year-old individual named Sean Porter was protesting along the sidewalks at an intersection in the city of Bowie. He was carrying a poster that displayed insulting remarks at the governor, Larry Hogan. Watch what happens when Officer McKenzie sees him protesting with this poster. How you doing, sir? Hey. I don't want to give you a hard time or anything, but I can't let you hold up that sign. I'm sorry, the First Amendment protects my free political speech. You're, You're right. live on YouTube, video and audio recorded. It doesn't matter. You're not the free speech police. I, I have a constitutionally protected right to say whatever I want. I'm politically protesting Governor Larry Hogan. It's my First Amendment right on the right to petition, my right to redress of grievances, and my right to file a complaint in any manner I feel fit. By the way, I'm not trespassing. I'm on public property. I'm on a public uh, crosswalk. I'm doing nothing wrong. I got a sign that you find offensive. That's not a law... Where in the Maryland Criminal Code does it say you cannot have an offensive political sign? Because free speech is not open to your your uh, interpretation. I understand. We just got a call for it. I, I understand. You got a call. You made your best shot. I'm not leaving because I haven't broken any laws. Hey. Okay. There is a thing called disorderly conduct. If I can't somebody, hear you. There's a thing called disorderly conduct. If somebody finds your your sign and your actions to be disorderly in public, okay, then that is a charge. We can ask you to leave. And failure to do that, you can get arrested. Uh, get your commanding officer out here because because this is a political free speech and I'm protected under the First Amendment. Officer McKenzie tries to suppress Mr. Porter's protest since she labels the poster to be obscene. However, Mr. Porter argues that he is lawful and within his rights according to the First Amendment. Watch how the interaction continues. Why are you shaking so much? Are you, are you on the influence or anything? Oh, now you're going that route trying to say I'm on drugs. I'm asking you. You're shaking like a leaf. Sir, we're not trying to be nasty or anything like that. It's free speech and you can't do anything about it. Call your state's attorney's office. I talk to my lawyers every day. I'm in the newspapers. Every state's attorney's office reviewed it and said you can't do anything about it. It's free speech. You're not even supposed to be talking to me. Sir, I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing with that. Okay. Not, you're right. You're right about free speech. We have a call because people are offended by your sign. So. But I didn't offend them. They offended themselves by not liking the choice of words I have for the governor. All day. You live around here, sir? I'm not making any statements. Okay. 
Other than the fact I haven't committed any crimes and you know it. Hey, sir. I never said you committed a crime. You said I was disorderly in public no, no, and I'm not. No, actually I didn't say that. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity and you cannot make any law that will infringe upon it nor sir. apply any law that infringes upon it. Sir, all I did was tell you why I'm here. Okay. I called about your sign. This guy said uh, I'm disorderly. Okay. If somebody finds your actions to be disorderly, then they would be disorderly, right? No, absolutely not. That's my exactly my free speech is not contingent upon speech? someone else's emotions. Okay. You know that. I have a question for you. We haven't been that TV at all. We've come here to I'm talk to you. He you said he's going to arrest me for disorderly. Officer McKenzie's accompanying officer, Officer Arnold, warns Mr. Porter that he can be arrested for disorderly conduct if his actions were to be found disorderly. Observe how the interaction concludes. I didn't say that. I said he if did. someone finds your actions to be disorderly and disturbing of the peace... I'm sorry, but they're not judge, jury, and executioner. Could be, arrested. could be. Could be. It's all I'm saying. I'm engaged in constitutionally if. protected There's activity, a, in my sir. there was an if... And oh, you're giving me what ifs and hypotheticals that's now. Right, that's right. All right, let me explain something to you. I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity. Okay. And I'm not out here protesting you guys are burning down your city. So why are you all so personally pissed off that I don't like Governor Hogan? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not <laughs> mad. I don't like him. I mean, is my sign not, not, is it too subtle? You're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to be protected by the First Amendment, wrap it around me like a big old blanket while I stand out here with my, my uh, giant Larry Hogan sign. I don't like the governor. Oh, you're here because you want to be. You should have told them there's no crime. You should have said there's no crime. We have to come out for everything. If we get a call, we have to come. We have to come out here. That's it. What was your name? Officer McKenzie. McKenzie? Yes, sir. Arnold? B. Arnold. Am I being detained? No, I'm free to go. I'm free to continue protesting also. You're free to stay here too. Absolutely. It's a free country. I'm glad you know that. Make sure you recognize that when you try to charge me with disorderly conduct because you don't like the content of my free speech. Why are you being nasty? Because I don't like it when cops try and tell me what is and is not allowed on a political sign. didn't do that. told you. This guy did. He said that my free speech could be considered disorderly because someone got offended and has thin skin. I'm sorry, but every person on, on Facebook named Karen doesn't determine my free speech rights. I mean, seriously. I mean, You're a I don't. Nasty dude. You know that? I I am a nasty you dude. Know, if you if you want to get your point across, if you're just a little nicer to people, why would I care? This is my this is my message verbatim. This is right from my heart. Well, there's this no is reason. my deep felt political belief. It's my protected free speech, That's and I'm going to continue going to display it. The wrong way. What's the right way? Be kind. Be kind to us. We haven't been nasty to you. At this all. guy said he's going to arrest me for I disorderly. Didn't say I was arrest right. you. Rewind the tape. I said you could be if someone found your conduct to be disorderly and disturbing their peace. Okay, that is the law. You can lawyer. You can you can quote the lawyer. You can quote all this stuff all you want. But if your protest becomes disorderly conduct, you're saying this while they're burning down cities in Wisconsin, and you're saying that my sign is disorderly. Come on. Seriously, you guys are out of your mind. You think I'm disorderly, dude? I'm not the one holding that. Dude, man. Oh, you think I'm crazy because of my thoughts? Take a video of your sign. That's pretty good. That's a that's a real mature. It is. It is at my level. Let me tell you. It's. I did. This is the level of my intellect. Absolutely. Yep. This is how smart I am. Is that I'm out here holding a sign instead of working in the heat, wearing a diaper on my face trying to arrest people that I disagree with, which is what you're doing for a living. So, if you're sitting out here holding a sign, you know, I don't really have a problem with that. You do, because you stopped and told me I'm going to jail. That guy did. No, you didn't. You've been nice. This guy's not been very nice. You can ask him what you Sir. I didn't mean to you. I just said that. Yeah, you said you're going to throw me in jail for free speech. I'm not hearing it. Have a good. I'm going to. I'm not talking to you. I'll talk to this lady. All right. Okay. Okay. So we came out here because we got a call. We have to come out for everything. I understand you have your your rights, freedom of speech, all that. This is considered a protest, right? You're peacefully protesting. It is. Correct? Right. Have I lit any cities on fire today? No, sir. Come on. Hear me out, right? So as long as you're not jumping in traffic. 
traffic or causing any harm to people. Or running with scissors or taking candy from strangers, Whatever getting in the back of a van. I know. Whatever you say. Yeah. Whatever you, you want to stand here and hold the sign? That's what I'm going to do. Have a nice day. Hey, you too, buddy. I will. Nice meeting you, sir. Same to you. Have a good day. You too. Officer McKenzie, along with other officers, left the scene without any further complications. Mr. Porter was allowed to protest, and he continued to do so for the next three hours. Mr. Porter has filed an informal complaint against the officers involved. However, he does not plan to file a lawsuit. If you think this was the end of the idiocy of female cops, then probably you aren't aware of this next case. Turn around and face that way now, or I'll spray I'm you. I'm talking to the police. Hey, yeah, hey, man. Hey, my mama's eighty-five. Hey, don't call me old. This is Officer Michelle Cassidy from the Muskogee Police Department. On August 7th, 2016, around 2 a.m., the cops arrived at the house of a suspect's mother named Arthur Blackman, who allegedly failed to stop at a stop sign while commuting in his vehicle. Officers pursued the 56-year-old after he drove to his mother's house and failed to follow instructions to stay in his truck. Subsequently, he rushed into the home and refused to come out. The police then decide to kick open the front door of the house. This is the Scotty Police Department. Come outside. Show your hands. Show me your hands! Put your hands up! Hands up! Keep them right there! Stand up! Stand up now! Walk my way! Walk my way! Stay there, ma'am! Come out here now! Now! Do it now! Come here! I'm gonna tase you! Do it now! Man, get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! I made it go down! What I do? I made it go down! Turn around! Don't put your hand Turn around! I ain't turning around! Turn around and face that way! What the did I do? Turn around and face that way! Get her in front of her! Get her in front of her! Turn around and face that way now! Geneva Smith, an 84 years old lady, was cruelly pepper sprayed by Officer Cassidy despite her son had surrendered. Smith was initially cited for resisting an officer, but the citation was later dropped. On the other hand, Blackman was charged with drunk driving, obstructing an officer, driving with a suspended license, and illegally carrying a weapon. Smith mentioned that she was taken to jail and then to the hospital after falling ill. Additionally, she still experienced pain in her eye more than a week later. The department had initiated an internal investigation to ascertain whether officers adhered to policy. According to a police statement, non-lethal force was employed because the mother and her son repeatedly failed to comply with lawful commands. 